15 people dying of thirst should not exist. Seen people so hungry that they have to eat leaves should not exist. You can find a health center without light. You find mothers are delivering in darkness to school reading books with a candle. They don't have power. You find people fetching water. You can't even imagine the water which they are taking. We need to come up with all these challenges. When we look at the 54 countries in Africa, the main challenge is always the lack of energy. Because there is no energy, you have still 350 million people searching for water. Because there is no energy, you have 620 million people in Africa that are living without access to light at night. At Innovation Africa, we are committed to pump water, which is the most important, to provide electricity in schools, in medical centers, in orphanages, to provide drip irrigation so they can grow food. And although we are doing a lot, it's still a small fraction of the number of people that are facing the same challenges every single day. When we reach to communities and you mention the word water, people will be so conscious to hear about that. Water, water, at that time, you see the smile on faces of these people. When you think about it, not that there is no water in Africa, there is plenty of water, but the water is located in the aquifers beneath their feet, and yet they don't have access to it. What is fascinating is that in Africa, the source of the problem is also the source of the solution. The same sun that dries their lands, that is making them thirsty, is also the sun that today provides them with access to water, to food, and all that we've done is capturing, harnessing the energy from the sun. We bring solar technologies, water technologies, agricultural technologies to transform schools, medical centers, and most importantly, to transform villages by pumping water. Once we identify the village, it takes us about three months to complete the infrastructure. And what moves us is when we see the community taking part in the construction of the infrastructure. If we are building the tank, they do participate. Digging the trenches where the water is going to pass. This is a community work. No one has told them to do, but they come to contribute. And uh, this is, impresses me so much, to see that the community, they are owning the project. Are you ready to have clean water? Yes! yes. Moisa, yes. EBT, yes. My dream, I want to see so many communities, their children are healthy, going to school, they have uh, education, they have clean water. That is my dream. If God brings my dream true, I can die a happy person.